Uh, the last day to make application for veterans, elderly, blind, or other property exemptions and the Hampton Beach precinct tax exemption is April 16, 2018. Please come and see our assessor's office for the required forms of information. Town and school annual reports are available in the front lobby of the town offices. I received a message from Bob Landry, who was the head of the DO, state DOT bridge division, that the Underwood Bridge was back operational at 11.40 p.m. on this past Friday. And I've received a message, uh, a flyer from uh, the Hampton Beach Area Commission, who will be holding a public hearing on Thursday, May 10th, the Marston School Cafeteria at 7 p.m. The topics include transportation grant for Route 1A, Hampton Beach traffic flow, parking areas at Hampton Beach, and traffic and pedestrian safety issues. Please attend to be informed of the plan as one component to be included the engineering plan for the reconstruction of Route 1A, which will begin as part of the DOT 10-year plan in 2018. Wow. That's it, sir. Questions for the manager? You have a couple of questions, uh, not on anything you mentioned, but Smutty Nose has been sold, right? Uh, or in the process? It's in the process of being sold. Okay. At the closing, we'll get our taxes? That's what the law says. Either okay. that or we'll get the plan. Okay. Yeah, I just, yeah, you know, I noticed that there was a... Uh, Who gets there's, the beer? There's a private... There's a if private we get the plan, we get the beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it's serious. I mean, we've got to really watch that. I mean, there's a private ski area in Vermont that the state closed because they were not yeah. paying their taxes. They just went in one day and said, bang, you're closed. You're not operating anymore. And I think we have to take a firm stance on that, that we get those taxes, yeah. those in a raise. That doesn't happen in New Hampshire. Yeah, I know, but still... The we option gotta, here is that we end up with the property and the business. Yeah, we got to be vigilant. The other thing is that Smutty Nose has been over. Their BOD and, and uh, yeah. TSS three... On, on three occasions. Mm -hmm. and I've, I've asked the Department of Public Works to draft an amendment to the policy, which will fine them every time they go over the limit. Okay, have we talked with the new owners? Have they been in? Have they... The new owners have not been in. The, 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 the proposed new owners of Okay. Mm. All right. But We're I mean, waiting for them. They have to come in within the, let's see. Uh, my understanding was that the passage is going to incur within, within 90 days. So they have to be here um, before that period of time to discuss with us what they're going to do and how they're going to do it and what the requirements are. Okay. Because within 30 days of their assumption, they have to apply for the proper permits from the town and the state. If they don't apply within that, then they're shut off. There's no more beer being produced. Okay. We don't want to go there either. All right. And the other thing that I that, that I wanted to mention when Chris was here and I didn't, Lafayette Road, and I guess it's over now, but with, where it wasn't plowed, the sidewalks, I mean, there were people walking in the, in the middle of the street, up and down, right in the section, going towards Hannaford's and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. And I know that there was, there was uh, equipment broken, but did we have... Both our sidewalk tractors at the time were broken. Okay. They were repaired. We did we did clear the snow. Um, also, I think you have to realize that we have we're down a number of employees. Yeah. And yes. and the requirement of being down a number of employees means that we uh, we have to wait to finish our regular plowing before we can put people on sidewalk yeah. equipment to clear the sidewalks. No, I realize that totally. But what I'm just saying is that there are elderly people who walk to Hannaford's. Yes. And it, it, you know, in the, in that and that that road's hecked mm -hmm. across yeah. it, even the crosswalks. No, it's a disaster lights. to cross that yeah, road. Yeah, it's a disaster. <coughs> so I just make sure that we're on top of that. Um, well, that's I all think, I have. I, I think the secret to that is that, and we're going to have to do something about, or the town will have to do something about this sooner or later. Is you're going to have to require hire the number of employees required to take care of all the jobs when they be, when they become due yeah. instead of later on. Yep. You're right. Okay. Thank you. All I have. We should be asking these questions under old business. Regina, well, it's the time when it, it's. Well, it's the report. That's what we're supposed to be asking the questions of the town manager for the report, and the other's old business. All right. Well, I, I was going to bring that letter up too. So. Okay, then <laughs> let's talk about it at old business. That's when we should be doing it. But it's not old business. It's yes, it is old business. That's what we have old business. I have old business too that okay. I want to talk about. But all we right. should all be asking questions all right, all right. of these all right, issues. I have a this is the questions for his report. Public hearing on the Hampton Beach Area Commission is May 10th, so 
Is it possible to maybe get a reminder for this when it's a little bit closer? Because I have I know some people that actually live down in the precinct area that might be. We should mention it every week. Right. Well, we're we'll going to put, put it up on the website so people can see it. But yeah, yes, we'll mention 22. it again before May tenth. Yeah. So right. people will, will know to. Because a lot of these ho these are hot topics here. I know for a lot of people that live in uh, work down there. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I think they're sort of hot topics for the selectmen too that don't seem to really know too much about what goes on with them. So I would like to uh, just keep that as a reminder. I guess I'll remind myself and. Yeah. Are anything? Um, no, but I do have stuff under old business so I can, Mary these Lewis. guys can leave. It, toward the end, Fred, of what you were saying on your report, now you said about 1A, could you? Reiterate that a little bit. Basically, is Rick going to get some relief for the drainage? I'm not going to predict what's going to happen. Right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not in charge of this construction, but they're going to start the process of the 10 year plan construction in 2018. Okay. That may mean just the planning portion without the actual construction. Oh. You, you've got to get plans finished Don't and, hold and dedicated. Your breath. Okay. Uh, but they're, they're looking at the transportation grant for Route 1A, which is, a, I believe, this federal state grant. Uh, Hampton Beach area traffic flow. You can't design the system without knowing and anticipating yeah, what traffic right. flow is going to be. Uh, parking areas at the beach and, and traffic and pedestrian safety, including the actual engineering plan for the reconstruction of Route 1A. Okay. So the hearing will be on those subjects and perhaps more yeah. questions are answered. Doesn't reference drainage specifically, but if they're going to redo 1A, maybe that will Hopefully. be a side benefit. There's, there's a lot of other. Yeah. Yeah. In, in Rick's particular case, uh, there's no municipal drainage in that area. It's all state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they'll have to do a sig significant amount of work. But I don't believe this construction plan goes that far. Okay. <laughs> no, it only goes to the um, to the Boar's Head. Oh. And but it is being considered to go to Winnicunit Road, and that's going to be part. It's going to be talked about at that meeting. Okay. So I, Good. you know, if you can watch, if you want to know all about go. it, watch the Hampton Area Commission. Okay. Oh, business. Week. I will. Jimmy.